I want to show you how to take a video, which typically the only interactivity you'll have in a video is pause, rewind, fast forward, that kind of thing. I actually want my learners to interact with this video. So the project that I have has a slide with a video and it has two knowledge check slides. And slide number two is a knowledge check. Slide number three is a knowledge check. The video on slide number one is talking about how you can enhance the learner experience by boosting their memory retention and strategies for ensuring that what you teach in a class is retained as long as possible. Professor Dr. Art Khan is just an awesome resource for learning how the mind works. He's a PhD in neuroscience. Now, slide number two and slide number three are knowledge check questions. And you might be wondering, how do you get a knowledge check question instead of a regular quiz question? Well, I'll show you how to do it. You click new slide. I'm going to choose a question slide like multiple choice. And that gives me a new slide here. And over on the right side of the screen, under your visual properties, instead of choosing graded as the slide type, you simply choose knowledge check. And the big difference is knowledge check questions aren't scored where regular quiz questions are. Now, I don't want that slide, so I'm going to delete it. It is also worth noting that my results slide, I do not want it to appear for my learners because, well, it's a knowledge check. There is no score. So I'll right click and I'll hide that results slide. And you can tell that a slide is hidden because of the eyeball with a slash. Now, in this project, I want the questions, the knowledge check questions to appear at specific times in the video. And really, at 35 seconds, Dr. Khan is explaining how often you should send memory boosts. And it's right around the 35 second mark. And at two and a half minutes, I'd want this question to appear. How long after training should the first boost occur? Now, for the sake of this lesson, I don't want to wait that long, 35 seconds and two, two and a half minutes. So during this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to get these two question slides to appear. But we'll make it happen at 10 seconds and 20 seconds. But really, the timing, that can be adjusted easily on the timeline. So I'm going to go to my slide number one, and I'm going to bring up the timeline down here. And on the timeline, I'm going to position my playhead at 10 seconds. So I'm going to click at the 10 second mark. And do you notice there's a bookmark channel? See the bookmark channel has a little diamond on it? I'm going to click in that bookmark channel and you see there's a diamond now with a plus sign. I'll click that plus sign and I'm presented with a bookmark. I'm going to name this bookmark Knowledge Check 1, so KC1. You can spell it out if you want. I'm just going to do KC1. Anyone who's seen me type knows if I try to type the word knowledge, I'm probably going to misspell it anyway. So I'll press enter. So there's KC1. I'm going to scroll to my right now so I get over to 20 seconds. And I'm going to click. That moves the playhead to 20 seconds. And I'll click in the bookmark channel. And I'll type KC2. So now I have two knowledge checks, right? Notice a couple of things. On the interactions panel, both of my bookmarks show up. Now, you don't have to assign an action to a bookmark if you don't want to. But in this instance, I want those bookmarks to open up those two knowledge check questions and specifically as overlays. So I'm going to click on the bookmark for knowledge check one. I'm going to click more. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to choose add overlay. And I'm going to choose knowledge check one. And I'll click done. Now over on the slides panel, notice that the knowledge check slide 
the icon has changed now. That icon here indicates that it's an overlay slide. Also, if I go to the bookmark at the 10 second mark, it says now that it's at an overlay and it tells me which slide is going to be the overlay. Now I'm going to click on the other bookmark. I'm going to click more. I'm going to add the overlay again. And I'll click done. And notice now the second slide is bookmarked as an overlay. You can tell again by the icon. Now there's two things I need to do to make sure this behavior works as intended. I'm going to click on the first knowledge check and notice that it says when the learner is done with the question it's going to go to the next slide and that's not what I want to have happen here. I don't want the learner to automatically see the next knowledge check. So I'm going to edit this action more and I want to continue playing the timeline so I'm going to choose resume timeline and I'll click done. And I'm going to do the same exact thing on the second knowledge check. I'm going to edit the trigger more, resume the timeline, and then I'll click done. I'm going to select slide number one. I'm going to preview the project. Now what we're looking for is that 10 seconds, the first knowledge check appears. And listen, this is not going to be a perfect timing because really it should be right around 35 and a half seconds and two and a half minutes. So when it pauses, Dr. Khan might have a strange look on his face because we interrupted his speech. Let's see what happens. I'm going to click preview. I'll autoplay. Hi, I'm Professor Art Khan. In this video, I want to talk with you about reinforcing people's learning. Back in 1910. Beautiful. 10 seconds in, it paused the video and shows the overlay. I'll try to answer the knowledge check. Of course, he hasn't given the answer yet. It was too soon. Remember, it should be right around 35 and a half seconds. I'll click submit. Got it wrong. I'll try again. Within hours and days, submit. Got it click else showed us that people forget most of what they learn in the hours and the day. now you notice that it continued playing the video versus going to the next quiz question and that was important because remember i said continue the timeline as my action instead of go to the next slide so in a couple more seconds i'm expecting that next knowledge check to appear that researchers modern researchers have shown us that you can change the shape of the forgetting curve by periodically boosting people how awesome is that this answer is two days. Nice. In this video, I don't want to explain specifically how. Okay, so there you have it. That's how you can take just a regular video and add some engagements to it. Try it on your own. See how it works for you.